Now, the work of the emergency services is being celebrated today as the UK holds the first ever 999 day. An event is being held in Manchester where a two-minute silence was held at nine o'clock this morning to remember those who died in public service. Well, I'm joined now by the founder of the day, Tom Skulls Fogg, and Lisa Stanaway, who is a senior paramedic at Northwest Ambulance Service. Welcome to you both. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, Tom, to you first. Why was it so important to you uh, to create this special day to honour the emergency services? Well, based on the success of the Armed Forces Day and coming from a military and a police family, uh, I understand the, the close links between them. And we have this national day each year to celebrate the remarkable work being, being done by the army and the, the military. But there was a notable gap, and that gap was there was no official emergency services day. So I set about uh, creating the charity and contacted the prime minister and the home secretary and got their support. And we're, we're very honored that we have now cross party support from all parties of this United Kingdom. And we're here today for the inaugural uh, 999 day. At least to you next, uh, as Tom mentioned there, there's an Armed Forces Day, but this is the first uh, Emergency Services Day. Uh, as a member of uh, the ambulance service, do you feel that the armed forces have been more valued uh, in public life? Um, um, yes, I think they are. And I think it's really important that, you know, we show how, the hard work that all the emergency services do, and it's great to celebrate today. Uh, Tom, to you next. Uh, ju just how much uh, has the job of emergency services changed? Of course, we've seen the growing threat uh, of terrorism uh, in the UK, uh, an unprecedented number of attacks that emergency services have had to deal with in recent years. Uh, how has the job changed and why is it so important to mark uh, their work? You're absolutely right. This country has faced um, many attacks uh, from terrorism. And the, the role of a kind of beat bobby has changed. You know, police officers in particular are no more only fighting crime. You're also a social worker. Uh, we work on a daily basis with our colleagues in all of the emergency services, including search and rescue. And it's important that I, I feel that we bring everybody together as one because we are one team, we are one united kingdom, and we are all absolutely united in our desire to serve the people. And, uh, you know, the, the role will only continue to change. I mean, there's a lot of talk, and His Royal Highness, the Duke of Cambridge, has been doing splendid work talking about mental health. Uh, and um, we're keen as well that we work with the likes of Mind Blue Light to um, allow emergency services personnel the support and give them the support and the backing they need. Because we're not when I've been on duty, for example, and I'm sure this is the same for Lisa and every other man and woman cadet, oh in the emergency services. You know, the, the job comes home with you. I, I've de dealt with things on a daily basis and gone home and it's still playing on my mind late at night. So, you know, this it's not simply about you go in, do the job and come home. It, it's the, 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 the job description, if you like, has fundamentally changed and it will only continue to change as well in the coming years. Absolutely incredibly brave work that you do day in, day out. Uh, Lisa, what examples do you have of um, challenging events that you've had to work on uh, recently? Um, I, I, well, obviously dealt with quite a lot of difficult situations and, and you're right, you do take things home, um, unfortunately, but you know, we, we do have a lot of support within the ambulance service. And how much uh, harder is the job uh, for you with some of the challenges that you face uh, psychologically uh, in terms of, of, of your day-to-day -day, uh, challenges? Yeah, I mean, the workload is, has increased massively. I mean, I've been within the service for 23 years and seen such a massive change. Um, you know, we are a lot busier um, and, you, you know, unfortunately, we do get tired um, and sometimes you do take, take it home with you. And how much does it weigh oh, on I'd you? Just like... The, Tom, sorry, continue. I, I was just going to say, actually, just to add on to, to Lisa's comments, um, I was on duty the day after PC Palmer was murdered in Parliament and uh, I was at a busy train station and we had members of the public come up to us and shake our hands and say, do you know what, thank you for what you're doing and thank you for being there because no matter what, all of our incredible selfless men and women who serve in our emergency services will always be there for you no matter what. 
uh, and taking the time out to thank them and appreciate them goes an awful long way. It really it made my, my week, you know, not just my day. Uh, and it's something so small, but something incredibly that goes a long way. As you mentioned there, Tom, um, the sacrifices uh, highlighted in the worst possible way uh, with the death of Keith Palmer. Um, do you feel that there is uh, enough gratitude from the public uh, for the selfless work of the emergency services? Or do you think that awareness is needed? I think absolutely awareness is needed. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm very confident that the majority of people, in the members of the public, do appreciate the services, but it's a case of they don't actually know what we do. I mean, 99% of what we do isn't attractive. You know, it doesn't make the news, but it is the difference between life and death. And this 999 day is aimed at you know, educating the public about what all of the services do. It's an opportunity for them to appreciate the work that we do. And it's an opportunity to also see you know, the incredible work and volunteer opportunities available across the whole 999 services. So we, we've got a lot of work to do, but we are on the right path. And uh, it, as each year grows year on year, the number of 999 day events grows, we will get there with the public. Uh, and, um, you know, it's about partnership. Well, Tom, Lisa, thank you for the work that you do and thank you for speaking to us today on Sky News. Thank you, Sally. Thank you.